Hi guys, welcome to yet another coding vlog. So it is 10:30 over here. Without wasting much time, let's jump into today's coding session. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm back from my coding session, and today's question was quite good. It was of medium tag, and the question name was like minimum number of the arrows required to burst the balloon. So what this question says that you have been given the diameters of balloons which are lying across the x-axis, and how the diameter is presented is by the pair of x start and x end. So it means that uh, from that point to the other point, like from x start coordinate to x end coordinate, is blocked by that particular balloon, and that balloon is placed there. And you don't know the proper y-axis. All the balloons are placed at different different y-axis. It is written in the question probably. I don't remember, <laughs> but yeah, it is the, that is the idea. And what happens is that uh, because you don't know the y-axis, you have to shoot the these balloons vertically. The arrows you will shoot them vertically. Now you have to find the minimum number of arrows required to burst all the balloons. So what is the idea behind this whole question is that you have to find an arrangement where you see that most of the balloons are intersecting actually, because that will ensure that you are bursting minimum. Uh, you are using minimum number of arrows to burst all the balloons because what will happen is uh, if Balloons are intersecting. You will need one arrow to burst all those balloons which are intersecting. Uh, I will try to give an example by, by my hand. What is the, uh, this? Is let's suppose this is one balloon placed, and this is another balloon which is placed. The common there is a, some common area between it, correct? So what happens is, which if you uh, um, you know shoot a arrow from vertically over here, it will burst both the balloons at if you hit it at this point basically. So you to, to burst these two balloons, you will need only one arrow. That is the kind of example. And uh, similarly, you have to find the minimum balloons across all the um uh, balloons which are present across x axis so that's the question so yeah let's look into the walk through that how i solved it yeah yeah okay, guys so i got the today's question is minimum number of arrows to burst balloon i guess i have already explained the question and what is the technique behind it so we will sort the array first and uh, we will we'll keep a pre pointer to a previous end and we will check whether the current start is greater than the previous end because if that happens that means that the intersection point is breaking and we can increase the count of the number of arrows required but then there came a test case which created a lot of problem for me so because there was the same start time but the end time was a bit different uh, for them so one of them was very small and it was getting skipped in my case so then uh, i had to you know uh, arrange my sorting technique accordingly instead i found that my logic which i was trying to write was depending more on the end so i had to change the logic to sort it by end once i did that my logic worked but then i went ahead and checked what other people were doing so other people uh, didn't there some of them did sort on the end basis some of them were not doing it so i checked what other people's solution was so i found out that they you can always do a sort on the starting point which i was thinking of correctly and at the start but what you can do is till you were getting them you know what to say you were getting the intersection you need to skip it and you need to update your previous time to the minimum value so that you don't jump you know you don't uh, miss a value which is smaller in which uh, i did a mistake when i was doing that hence i was skipping it out so yeah once you handle it that that way also the your code will work and it will get accepted so yeah that's pretty much for the walkthrough today hi guys so i hope you like the coding walkthrough that's it for today do like and subscribe i will see you tomorrow Thank you.